Hi Solos, today we are talking about recession, the economy and your business. Hi, all this month we've been talking about launching your business and providing some tips and some insights around things that are relevant when you're starting a business and even when you are in business. But there's one question that may be looming large in your mind in today's world, and that is, what about the economy? There are reports that there could be a recession. There are some reports that say certain sectors will be safe from the recession, like in the housing market, they say that the housing market is not going to cause a recession and it's not going to be impacted by a potential recession. So there's a lot of uncertainty in 2020 especially since it's an election year. And so common in election years are a little bit of rattling of the stock markets and a little bit of uncertainty because we're not sure who's going to be the president and what policies they may implement. So how does that affect your decision to start a business? You can start a business in any economy and still succeed. But there are some steps that you can take, whether you just launched your business or whether you're thinking about your business to ensure that you can ride the wave through any economy up or down. Because believe me, great economies don't last. Markets are always going to go up and down and it's just a reality of life that also has an impact on your job. So here's what you can do. Number one, you definitely want to shore up your finances. And so you want to look for ways now. Think about, you know, the type of business that you want to have. Think about where you want to be, not only in the next year, but in the next five years and what's really important to you. Start to look at your budget and see if there are ways that you can trim. One great resource that we've long recommended is Get Rich Slowly, that blog. It's a blog that has um, some great tips on how you can trim the fat from your budget. And so sit down with your family and look at ways that you can maybe trim your expenses and then take that money and sock it away. As a solo PR pro, you may be able to give up things that you need in the working world. So common things that may come to mind is, you know, if you still have a dry cleaners bill, you'll have less of a dry cleaners bill as a solo. If you're doing daycare, you may be able to reduce that um, and just have your child at home with you. So think about that. Think about the expenses that you have now that are tied into work, commuting, gas. If you're going to work from a home office, then obviously those expenses will be a little bit lower. You may even decide to, you know, if you're a two family car, you may decide to downsize to one car. Again, all decisions that are going to be individualized, but it is important to look at your budget and start to think, hmm, are there things that I can trim away and then I can put that savings away so that I have a cushion as I start this new chapter of my business? Second, you want to make sure to prepare your skill set. So look around in the market and see what skills are needed. If you're someone who's never touched social media and the market that you want to serve finds that skill set very important, then you need to learn and get your skills up to date. Same if you're already doing a job and you're doing some skill sets, but maybe you have areas of weaknesses or you just want to make sure that your skills are polished, invest in yourself now while you're working and do a little bit of professional development. And the good news is, is that that doesn't often mean going to a community college or taking a really expensive workshop. There's lots of online courses for free that can help you to polish your skills. Or if you're a member of any professional associations, take advantage of their learning resources now. And so that's one thing. So trim your budget, look at your expenses and, and figure out ways that you can cut back so that you can sock away more savings, shore up your skill sets, and then make sure that your, your networking is up to date. So take a look at your LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn can be a very valuable tool. Is your profile up to date? Does your headline accurately portray who you are today? Or have you not touched your LinkedIn profile in the last five years because it hasn't mattered because you've been employed? So you want to take a good hard look at it 
Again, there's lots of advice. There's LinkedIn coaches that you can work with. If you want to take that, you know, up a, a level and get really serious about it, um, the headline is important. The keywords are important. So polish off your profile. And then, you know, if you have a time frame within the next three to six months for starting your business, I would start that outreach now. I would start to network and make those connections and, you know, um, so that you have a network that is vibrant and engage with you that you can tap into when the time comes for you to start your own business. So those are just a few practical tips that you can take to make sure that you are protecting your business against the economy even before you launch your business. Just a little bit of planning really goes a long way. And if you've already started your business, these same tips can apply to you as well. No matter if you've been in business for a year or 20 years, and the veterans are usually pretty good about this because they've seen a lot of ups and downs in their careers and they know how to handle it and how to position themselves. For most people, there's not a loss of business. In fact, a down economy can actually be a great thing for independence because if companies need to trim their internal budget, they still need help. There's still problems to solve and working with a solo PR pro can definitely be more cost efficient. So you want to look out for those opportunities as well. The good news here again is that you can start your business in any economy. There will always be something. There will always be questions. There will always be reasons that you could check off the list to say, not today. I promise you that nothing is ever going to be perfect. I started my business in one of the worst economies in recent history, and it was fine. I didn't know any better, so I just went forward, business as usual, so to speak, and here I am still standing all of these years later. So I know from personal experience that it only matters if you let it matter. Otherwise, take some steps to be proactive about protecting yourself and shoring up your financial cushion and make sure that your skill sets are up to date on what the market wants and make sure that your networking and your profiles are up to date as well. If you do decide to start your business, I also would say consider joining Solo PR Pro. You get a built-in community of support and we're here to help you. But do check out our free resources on the blog and follow us on social media for tips and news. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us because we love helping solos to launch their business and we love helping support them once they're in business. Don't worry about the economy. It's okay. You got this.